Now, how are Dayton's veterans reacting to this prisoner swap? Kelly May talked to Army and Navy veterans at a VFW post in Fairborn, and she's here now with their very candid opinions. Kelly. Jack and Deb, both the veterans I spoke with were concerned that President Obama violated his own policy by not running this by Congress. But the shock factor, rescuing someone who is being called a deserter, they certainly had some opinions about that. Inside a quiet VFW post 6861 are some very loud opinions. Back in the day, if you were a deserter, you got shot. Joe Kavnis joined the Army two days before his 17th birthday. When he heard the story of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. He was wrong in what he did. He, they shouldn't have done what they did to get him back. Well, when I first heard about it, I didn't understand everything. But you know what? I think it's a bad trade. Navy veteran Avery Blanton wasn't quiet either about his opinion of Bergdahl's return. We shot deserters at one time. Why would we give up five prisoners that are terrorists for somebody that doesn't even care about us. Blanton said he was shot at every night while stationed in Vietnam in the late 1960s. His Navy experience taught him to fight or die. That's why he can't fathom how a soldier might turn on his comrades. When you're in the military, you, you become close. Only thing we have is each other. That's how it is. Video of Bergdahl's release was posted by the Taliban. Ridiculous. I mean, he looked in pretty good health to me for being a captive for five years. Joe Kavnis says after a 26-year Army career, what makes him most angry? The five terrorist prisoners traded for the American sergeant's safe return. Okay, they're going to hold them for a year, but what's going to happen after that year's up? I mean, are they going to get back into the game again? So then we've got to kill a bunch more Americans to go find them again? Now, in exchange for Sergeant Bergdahl, it's being reported that the trade for those five Guantanamo Bay prisoners was brokered through the Qatari government and puts a one-year travel ban for those men out of Qatar. Jack.